guys, today is day one of a crazy exciting vlog series that I'm doing over the next month and basically tomorrow we are moving into a house in Venice. We spent the last two weeks like seeing places and applying and it was kind of a nightmare to get a place but we got approved to like kind of our dream house and I'm so freaking excited. This, this is our new house. Yeah. So this is the living room. Okay, it's obviously, there's no furniture, which is kind of annoying and it means we have to spend a lot of money furnishing it, but it also means that we have a fresh start because one of the places that we looked at came furnished and I hated the furniture. It was like really bad old furniture. So I'd rather have no furniture than terrible furniture. Um, but yeah, so we can make it our own. I just, I love the windows. That's like the best thing about this for sure. Just amazing light. So this is gonna be the living room and then we've got a little courtyard out front here which we're still trying to figure out what to do with. I think we should put like a really cool tent type situation and then you can open these doors and have like a double living room, half of it being outdoors. I don't know, that's an idea. And then over here we've got the kitchen. It's super modern and beautiful. I don't know why but I think this is like super cool. <laughs> The way these open. Just all these little things that are really nice. Really, really big sink. Yeah, there's gonna be a bunch of us living here, so we kind of need a lot of space. So yeah. So exciting. And then over here is like a little guest bathroom. And then another little mini courtyard, and then the garage back there. How are you feeling? Overwhelmed. Yeah. This is the first time in six years that I've actually had a home. Other than Cape Town, but that didn't really count. Yeah. This is mad. Yeah, we, so we got approved for this like a week ago. So we've had to wait. We've been staying at um, Michael and Aggie's and just waiting. I feel like it's been like the longest week ever because we just want to move in so bad and just start making it our own. So yeah, so excited. I don't know if you guys are gonna find this tour very exciting. I personally like seeing an empty house tour and then I'm gonna vlog like the whole process of picking stuff out and furnishing and everything all the way into the very end because I am so freaking excited. Also, I, I don't know if I told you guys this, but I really wanted to be an interior designer growing up. So I feel like all those like childhood dreams are finally coming out. This is the first time that I really have my own place that I can properly furnish. Anytime I've lived anywhere before, I just didn't really have the money and I was like just trying to find anything I could on Craigslist and stuff. And this time I can splurge a little bit more just to get the things that make me really happy. So anyway, I just came up the stairs. So there's a living room down there, up the stairs. And then this area here is gonna be my office area, which is exciting. We initially wanted to get two bedrooms, one for me and Louie to sleep in and one that would be like our shared office. But this place didn't really have an extra bedroom, but it had this like massive extra space. So it kind of works out. So I'm thinking of having my desk here looking out that way. I love looking out like into the light and windows and stuff. And then another desk here, which will be for my assistant who I'm hopefully hiring in the next week. By the way, if you guys didn't see my other video, I'm looking for an assistant and it's kind of like last chance if any of you live in LA and you are, yeah, looking for a part-time job to start and then full-time later. Um, I will post the link down below. But yeah, that's kind of the idea. Or it could be like any of the roommates that want to work if the desk isn't being used and they can use it. And then I think I want to put a nice little like comfy, cozy rug here. And then over here, I'm thinking a futon where if like my sister comes to visit or friends or anything, then it's going to be like a if one of those futons that goes down into a bed, ideally. But this is actually a lot more space than I remembered. So I think we could definitely put like maybe some bookshelves here. And maybe I can do, I'm thinking like a cool gallery wall. Is that what they're called? Where you got a bunch of different prints? I don't know, but I want to get a bunch of like girl boss and like inspirational quotes. And yeah, this is going to be my view. It's not amazing, but it's light, which makes me very happy. And then over here, okay, first, this is gonna be mine and Louis' bathroom. It's kind of small, but I mean, it's really nice and it's got everything that we need. 
Um, and this will also be shared with, I guess, anyone who's like overworking or on the rooftop because it's all the other bathrooms besides the one downstairs are in people's bedrooms. So this is kind of a shared one. It would have been nice to have our own bathroom, but I'm willing to let that go to have this amazing office space and to have this bedroom. This is our bedroom. Oh my gosh. Look at these windows. Like, are you kidding? I definitely have a thing for windows and I've always said to Louie, please can we get a room with big windows? And now like two of my walls are windows. This is honestly all my biggest dreams coming true. Um, yes, yeah, so what we're thinking for here is a bed this way, side tables, maybe like a cute little reading chair situation over here. Um, and then this little indent like a chest of drawers with a mirror on top where I can do my makeup and Louis can keep a lot of his clothes in there. And then there's still a lot of space here, but don't want to cover the windows really. So I need to think about that. Um, we will both hopefully be filming a lot of videos in here as well because look at this lighting. Oh my gosh, amazing. Um, and then we've got a little closet over here. It's, I don't know what this is. Is that, I don't know what that is. Um, but yeah, this is like not huge. And I don't like this double situation because I have long dresses. So I need to figure out if I can take this down and then just have all my dresses there. But hopefully this is enough. The good thing is that Louie and I have been living out of suitcases for the past three years for me, five years for Louie. So we don't have a lot of stuff. Um, so yeah, I guess we don't need a huge closet. But then this is, so this is my office here. I'm walking through. Up there is the master bedroom. And then this area is gonna be Louis's office. It's quite a bit bigger because he's gonna have editors over most days, hopefully. Um, so I think he wants to put like a big cupboard here where we can, where we can keep his camera gear and stuff. And then maybe just desks all along here and here which again is kind of like a communal workspace and he can have people over and whatever he wants to do. And then I suggest that he puts another like cozy couch area over here, but, ooh, hello? But yeah, we'll figure that out later. And then this is one of our roommate's rooms. Look, he's got a massive closet. <laughs> Maybe we can borrow some of this closet space because, oh my gosh, wow, he is, Seriously winning on the closet space. And then this is his bathroom as well. Wow, ooh, that's freaking cool. That was motion detector light. <laughs> um, wow, this is so, oh, I wish I had this space. But like I said, it is worth it for the office. I guess those turn off by themselves. Um, and then let me show you upstairs. So, this is the master bedroom, and this is the room that we were kind of deciding between this one and the other one. And this one is great, and it's massive, and the bathroom's beautiful, but it kind of means, basically, if we take in this room, I don't think we could have taken, or I could have taken that office area, because then I would have been, like, whoever's sleeping in that room would have had to walk past me working to go shower and stuff, and it's just not really, I don't know, I thought that would be a little mean to do. Um, so our friends Cameron and Johnny are gonna get this room, and this is a massive room, like whatever, their bed could probably go out to there and then they have all the space. They could probably set up desks or, I don't know, they could do like a couch seating area, whatever they wanna do. Um, but yeah, this room is super cool. And again, the closet space, holy crap. I do not remember this being this big. Whoa, what is this? What is this? Does anyone know what this is? <gasps> Huh? Oh, so you can reach your clothes. Wow, that is seriously fancy. Okay, well, everyone's closet space is, wow, seriously winning. Nice. And then their bathroom is so nice, double sink. Beautiful, oh my gosh, that shower. <laughs> oh, I'm jealous. <laughs> and their bathtub, and then, well, they even have a window at their toilet. They have double windows. Okay, it's okay. <sighs> yeah, they're gonna freaking love this room. 
And yeah, so this is the master bedroom. <laughs> you can hear Louis vlogging as well. <laughs> and then, hi. Are you doing a tour on your vlog? No, I don't want to do a full tour. Okay, well I am. Oh, okay. <laughs> Up here. This is kind of the main reason we fell in love with this house. Would you agree? Yeah. Oh my gosh, they've just repainted it. So this is the rooftop. Oh my gosh. It looks so good. Whoa. Okay, I'm gonna stand in this corner so I can show you how big it, wait, stand over there. <laughs> wow. So, what I'm envisioning for here is like big couch, like a big couch seating area over here, maybe with a fire pit, if possible. And then I guess a long picnic table there, maybe a barbecue station over there. Does that sound good? Yeah, yeah. Is that what you're I think thinking? we'll spend a lot of time out here. Yeah. Look at this palm tree. This is so LA. It's so good. The only thing is that the sun sets over here. So we might have to like look through these to be able to watch the sunset or I don't know if this is super weird but I was thinking you know those lifeguard seats that are on the beach maybe we can get one and just put it here and just sit on top of it to watch the sunset I don't know if that's creepy but anyway we can think about that later so we were looking at a couple of other places that we really liked but they didn't have any outdoor space and I'm just thinking the reason that you live in LA is so that it's nice all year round so if you don't have outdoor space it just seems like such a waste so I'm glad that we got the place with the massive outdoor space and you can sit and watch the stars. Although I don't know if you can really see stars in LA. But anyway, <sighs> oh my gosh, I'm so happy. I'm so happy. <laughs> Star house. Star house. So next thing that we have to do is measure everything because we need to figure out how big couches we need and dining room table and everything. So I'm trying to draw a little floor plan. Um, it's not looking amazing, but I think we'll figure it out. <laughs> okay, what's that one? Eight feet. Ten inches. Okay. Right. I feel the day I haven't done this in so long. <laughs> also, it's hard because there's all these like random indents and stuff, which I guess we don't need to measure, but you don't want to order something and then it doesn't fit. Oh my gosh, it's, it's literally just a blank slate for us to put whatever we want. I've seen it all upon the silver screen. The happy face is in a sign upon a hill. The wine is flowing and the fields forever green And all your hopes and dreams will always be fulfilled So I'll be coming, coming real soon Yeah, I'll be coming, coming real soon This is what we got This is actually really fun Guys I just had a terrifying experience with a massive spider on the rooftop. I was like, we were measuring and I looked up and it was like eye level right here. Oh my gosh. I think, I don't know if you guys, I don't know if I've told you, but spiders are by far my biggest fear, phobia, whatever. And I feel like I might need to get like therapy or something yeah. for it. I think she needs to get over the spiders. Oh my gosh, I hated that. I'm really shaken up. But besides that, I think we finished. I think yeah. we measured everything. Mm. Oh, so excited. Can't wait. So tomorrow we are going to Ikea. Tomorrow's our last day before we move in. So I think 
Ikea is the best place to just like get all the basics that we need. And then there's a, I've like had my eye on a, a few amazing pieces from different furniture places and like mattresses and different stuff. So that might slowly start to build, but we should go and just get like plates and stuff and random things like that. But yeah, I think I'll probably end the vlog here. I hope that you guys like this video and make sure that you're subscribed and you have your notifications turned on because I don't know when I'll upload in this series, kind of like whenever I have around 10 minutes, I'll upload the next vlog. So yeah, turn your notifications on so that you don't miss any of them. And I can't wait to share this whole process with you guys. Okay, bye.